solubility. Before we talk about solubility, we need to understand what solution is. A solution is a mixture of a solvent and a solid. So if you add a solid, which is called the solute, into a liquid, which is the solvent, the bonds between the solid or attraction forces between the solid will start to break and the solid will start to diffuse through the liquid and then this will continue until the solid particles diffuses completely through the liquids and all the bonds of attraction between the solids are broken. This, this is called the solution, which is the mixture of the solute with the solvent. There are some definitions that you need to know. So a solution is a mixture of a solute and a solvent that doesn't separate out. So they are not separated, they are completely mixed. A solute is the substance that will be dissolved and the solvent is the liquid where the solute dissolves in and there is also what is called the saturated solution. A saturated solution is a solution where the maximum amount of the solute has been dissolved. So no more solute can then dissolve in that solution. If you add more solute to that solution, that uh, solid will not dissolve and will separate out or precipitate. So what is solubility? Solubility is how much solute will dissolve in a solvent. Normally, we measure solubility of different solute and different solvent when how many uh, grams of the solute can dissolve in 100 gram of the solvent. The solubility of different solutes will change uh, at different temperatures. So different temperatures, will the solutes will have different solubilities. So a graph of the solubility versus temperature is called the solubility curve. This is the solubility curve of ammonium chloride. Here we will plot the temperature on the x-axis because this is our independent variable because if we are measuring the solubility at different temperatures, we will change the temperature ourselves. So this is the independent variable which goes on the x-axis. And then we measure the solubility, which is how many grams of the ammonium chloride dissolved per 100 gram of water. So this is our dependent variable and it will go into the y-axis. You can see here that we can find out how many grams or what is the solubility of ammonium chloride at different temperatures by looking at this graph. So for example, at 10 degrees, you can see that the solubility is around 32 or 33 grams per 100 gram of the uh, water. And then in this graph, the solubility increases with the increase of the temperature. As the temperature goes up, the solubility increases. This is, these are the solubility curves of different uh, solutes. And uh, you can see that the solubility curve uh, changes depending on the nature of the solute at different temperatures.